I was born with a, a cleft palate and a cleft lip. Most of it was fixed during, you know, my early childhood. Later on, I had a lot of orthogonic problems, and also they thought that I would have problems with my upper jaw. At that time, there was a new procedure invented, which um, the only purpose of this was to move my upper jaw some slightly forward, where I had these little, um, they were like screws that my father was turning on a daily base, only two millimeters, I believe it was. And it, it turned too far forward so that like my skull collapsed. Now when I say collapsed, it, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden I had no, it just slowly started shifting. My nose completely shifted on one side. I had bones jumping out from my cheekbone and these bones completely came in and my upper jaw completely became loose. So that's what kind of started the whole process of having over 30 surgeries to reconstruct. You know, I come from a family where my sister is really, I mean, good looking and everything and like the only way I could, can deal with it is by avoiding dealing with it. But I just always wanted to have a normal appearance but I just, I think that's my main goal. Okay, Ariana, let's talk a little bit about what we can do with permanent cosmetics to make you look and feel your absolute best. We're going to work on your mouth, and I'm going to do some preparatory work to make uh, what Dr. School is going to do with fillers even more effective. I'm going to reshape and redefine what's called the vermilion border, the outside of the pink part of your lip, so that she'll have a guideline to uh, fill that. And then let's talk for a minute about your eyes and your brows. Because you have beautiful eyes, this is clearly your best feature. I'm sure you get compliments about them all the time. And to have your beautiful eyes look their very best, you need a beautiful frame. So I want to give you a shape for your brow that's going to bring out your eyes the best. We can see that your one brow, your left brow, is a little bit lower than the right brow. And it doesn't sit quite where it should. Your brow should sit at the crest or the highest part of the brow bone and follow the natural shape of the bone, and right now it kind of drops down. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try and work with you in addition to working on your lips, to working with your brow to make a nice frame for your eyes, and then I'm going to line your eyes. I know you said you like to wear eye makeup, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you like darker eyes. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a darker eye lining that won't run off or rub off. Wow. That'll be there when you're exercising or running <laughs> around, and when we're done with you, you will be totally wash and wear beautiful. Wow, I can't even believe that. All right, now I'm going to mark the borders of what we just did. How does that feel? Okay? Another part of our challenge is that scar tissue doesn't hold color as well as normal tissue. And then I'm going to be working over scar tissue in places. So I'll be probably having to go back in subsequent visits and build the color a little bit more. Beautiful. Those are kissable lips now. Yeah, thank you. I can think this will be possible. We're going to make you a natural beauty. Of course, being a natural beauty takes a lot of work. <laughs> Look at those lips. Fabulous. Next step is the eyebrows. I'm putting permanent color the way you like to do your eye lining color. All work in and around the base of your lashes. And the color like the one thing I was like, I don't know if I want to get it. <laughs> You're glad you did now, huh? Yeah. That is so cool. Much nicer than I would be able to do it. I'm happy. I'm happy too. That's what I have to hear. <laughs> you know, you look so good that I should should sell this permanent makeup with a bat for you to drive the boys away as they chase you down the street. How is this going to change your life? That's what I want to know. It's going to... You'll have more fun? Yeah, like, I won't be so self-conscious about certain things. When other people meet me, they just think I'm so confident and so everything. I think that's because I'm really able to avoid certain things, you know, and now I don't have 
anything to avoid, you know. It's so natural that most people don't notice it, and that to me is the most important part. Like, I don't want to look like I have something, I have done something, I don't want to look different from other people, and I think with the permanent makeup you really have the ability to still look natural without, you know, with having done something major, because I really never wanted to stand out. I just wanted to be like everybody else. And with this, it's so funny because people tell me all the time, oh, you're beautiful, you're this or that, you don't need to do anything. Like, they don't know that I have done the permanent makeup, so that's what makes a big difference to me. They don't realize that I've had over 30 surgeries, that I've had my skull separated six times, that I've had my upper lip, my lower lip moved to the upper lip, like all kinds of things. So you kind of can get back to having, being just a regular person. I can completely understand people who want to do it for other reasons, but at the same time, that's why it was most important to me. It's so simple, it's so natural. I mean, obviously you have to do it with the right person, and I'm sure there's all kinds of people out there that may not know what they're doing, but I mean, I would recommend anybody to do it, regardless of what your reasons might be. I just really believe in it. The reason why I'm so happy is because I try to remove myself from my flaws, but once in a while when you get reminded of it, that's when it becomes somewhat bad. But now it's like you have less reason to be reminded of something that's not necessarily a good thing. So. Well, I think you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Inside and out. <laughs> thank you.